the girls that were abducted by Boko Haram in Yobe State Dapchi School were released this morning uh, from the head of the parent, the man who speaks on behalf of the parent. He said the girls were released uh, uh, around the midnight and uh, they never saw the people who came to uh, release them. According to him, uh, there has been, uh, uh, they have hit the girls uh, out of media uh, for now, and they have not conclusively counted uh, to know how many of the girls have been released. Uh, according to him, uh, he confirmed that uh, the girls uh, were released uh, because of the pressure uh, from both the uh, acclaimed Boko Haram negotiator known as Mama Boko Haram and, and the military that have been uh, making effort towards reaching out for the release of the girls. And also I call uh, uh, Aisha Wakil, the self acclaimed negotiator, and she confirmed that uh, the girls were released today. What she said was she had informed the military that the girls might be released within the week, but uh, there was no uh, actual date, according to her, but that was uh, uh, the communication she, she said she had. Okay, but it can't be confirmed that all the girls uh, have been accounted for, from what I'm understanding. Has there been any statement from Boko Haram? Well, you see, uh, they, they took everyone by surprise. Uh, no one knew they are going to release them. This was the first time uh, Boko Haram were able to release uh, girls in their captivity without uh, making proper arrangements, maybe with the government. We don't know what happened, but the president, when he visited the school, he said that uh, they are putting the best effort through his government to see that the girls and the rest of the Chibok girls under the captivity of uh, Boko Haram are released. And I think uh, because quite a number of the girls are uh, the younger age. You, you find about uh, seven of them or more uh, to be less than 12 years old. So I think uh, they are becoming liability to the insurgents based on the fact that they don't have food, they don't have other things to keep the girls. Uh, but according to the latest story we just heard, they said five, five of the girls have died. But uh, we don't have the actual identity of the girls uh, that died. As the chairman said, they are still trying to do the head count to actually figure out who and who are the girls that were released.